imagine three tourists walking along in Africa in the Serengeti on a safari. And all of a sudden, out from behind the bushes, a ferocious lion jumps out right in front of them. The lion is roaring, it's showing its fangs, it is looking straight at the tourists just a short distance away, so its intentions are very, very clear. In response to this sudden crisis of mortal magnitude, the first tourist freezes, paralyzed with fear, completely unable to move. The second tourist, after a couple of moments, starts to immediately take off any extra equipment. So throws away his water bottle, his compass, takes off his tool belt, his sweater, his backpack. While the third tourist is still calmly assessing the situation with his hands in his pocket. After a few more moments, the first tourist, still unable to move, just out of the corner of his eyes, looks at the second tourist and asks, what do you think you're doing? And the second tourist says, well, I am getting rid of everything I can possibly get rid of to make me as light as possible so I can run as fast as possible. And the first tourist says, you're crazy. No matter what you do, there's nothing you can do to outrun this lion. But the second tourist responds, you are right. But it's not the lion that I need to outrun. It's at least one of the two of you. A few more moments pass, and finally the third tourist from out of his pocket brings out a lighter, lights it, and the flame scares away the lion. So as you can see, these three tourists represent the different mindset with which we can react to the crisis that we're facing today. The first tourist, of course, is by far the worst off because he has absolutely no defenses, no action plan, no reaction. So he's completely susceptible to the full danger of the crisis. The second tourist is better, but his thinking is only short-term survival. So he's getting rid of blindly and randomly all assets, all resources. So if you do that with your company and uh, shed assets or lay off staff, then what you're doing is in essence compromising or limiting your ability to take advantage of the situation. The third tourist, of course, represents the optimal approach and mindset because what he does is that he kicks into high gear this wonderful resource that we all have and everybody in your company has, which is our creativity. And when we do that, we can think of new ways to put ourselves in control and master the situation.